We met the eve of that occasion. She required no persuasion. Our plans sealed that night in the morning to reunite. With paper squares fixed the lingual vein, we set off on our entranced campaign. We arrived at Hilltop's base and watched our fingers interlace. Acquainted with two nymphs we became, one whose chest bore her name, an elegant tattoo of such splendour, which left no mistaking her agenda. It followed the curves under her breast, which I had now thoroughly assessed, yet despite such hypnotising features, we said goodbye to those creatures. With only my sublime attendant, we found a tree so resplendent, claiming it for our lovely pair, we surveyed this go and fun fair. Yet, so overwhelming was her beauty, I could no longer remember my duty, struggling against this imprint of mind which I had unwittingly designed. Until the dawn of a conclusion which parted the clouds of confusion, so from the revelry we departed towards the mountain yet uncharted. We sat at the foot and spoke some more, until my revelation I could no longer ignore. The only solution was to climb, here the place and now the time. I took the path of the virtuous man, which had always been his plan. My back to the butterfly turned, though to behold her I still yearned. Finding myself in a hero's role, I went in search of the soul, and on that journey I shed a tear, a romantic impetus to persevere. Following the winding road until at last the trek plateaued, old buildings were standing there, grand structures fallen into disrepair. I scaled the tallest one's wall and stood at the edge of a great fall, with Surya reclining over the sea and the Mecca of Cytrons beneath me. I opened my mouth and issued a roar. I opened my arms like an eagle to soar. I carried on in such a fashion until I was lurched out of my passion by a stranger's distant voice quite polite. He called, Are you all right? I sent the affirmative along the wind, contemplated the situation and grinned. Now, having completed my quest, I went back to find her at God's behest. There she was at the corn cob stand, and I took her hand. 